Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Puzzles by Lisa on Instagram and today I'm going to show you puzzles that are called Tripticon uh, and actually also I'll show that version in the 500 but they are not called Tripticon. Uh, what is a Tripticon actually to start with? It's a puzzle box that has three puzzles inside. They are together so you're not going to get a separation to bags but basically you'll find that each one of them has a frame uh, and then basically you have three different images. It is as long as a panorama one, but basically together you can frame them separately if you wanted to hang them on a wall, like it's very common to do that uh, with like a trio of, of images. Um, and they're overall pretty beautiful and you'll see that they tend to have the same topics. So you'll actually see that they're gonna come back uh, with different, uh, different artists, but actually kind of the similar topics for them. Um, so this first one is called Africa. It's um, it's by Shkim Skimmel, and it's from 2010, and it features a few elephants and like one lion or tiger, uh, probably a lion, I would say, and it's really nice, really beautiful. Again, most of them are not easy because they're kind of like similar color schemes. Um, the second one, beautiful triptychon called Evasion by Christian uh, R. Lassen, uh, Christian Reese Lassen. He's an artist who is amazing. I'll, I'll do a special video just for him. Um, he really likes that kind of like sunset, which is very purple. I mean, I am, I admire him. It's from 2009. Ravensburger tended to do those more in the past, and they did very few, or really in the last few years, but... Um, so this one, again, it's like three different puzzles in one box. And I mean, I don't know if it's easier or harder because it has like more edge pieces. So maybe it's a little bit easier, but it depends on the picture. This next one, a very common theme we'll see. It's called Peace and Harmony. It's by Ute Nan from 2010. And you can see basically like all the Peace and Harmony uh, reasonable stuff like the orchids and the rocks and the Buddha and all of those things. Um, it's a very common theme. You'll see a few of those. And Utenan is, again, like super amazing um, artist that Ravensburger have used um, quite a lot with collaboration. So we might actually have a video on Utenan specifically. Okay, these ones, they're called Country Flowers and they're by Gennady Podcord. Retub from 2014. Uh, that's not the top of my list, but it's really cool if you like flowers and like a little bit of faded turquoise. Uh, really nice puzzle. That one is harder to get, I think, than some of the other ones. I mean, they're all not easy to get, I guess. So another one on the wellness side, it's called Welcome Harmony. Welcome to Harmony. Uh, by Utenan from 2015 and again you can see it's a little bit more colorful than the other one so a little bit less than uh, but it says here harmony and it says here body oil and you can see all the nice kind of like stuff that is going with wellness really nicely um, again I love Utenan so for me anything by Utenan is great this is the newest ones of all it's called Panther, Elephants, and Lions, and this is by David Yero from 2021. Unbelievable. All black and white. I love black and white puzzles. I will make a video maybe for black and white puzzles. Uh, but these ones are just amazing. Uh, and I bet that's not going to be the easiest puzzle you could pick, but that one might be more reasonable to get because it's 2021. And back to more animals you could see that's called uh, african majesties by adrian from 2018 i guess that's adrian chesterman it doesn't say but that's my guess because that's adrian that is working with Ravensburg a lot and then you can see very beautiful zebras and flamingo and lions and a bunch of like rhinoceros and giraffes over here I am a big fan of that type of stuff, but you'll see that you, you've seen already that like animals are repetitive in the Tripticon world and uh, this one is one of the beautiful ones, I believe. 
so another theme that's coming back, it's called New York Triptychon. And this one is by Getty Images 2017. Uh, no one is an artist for that, I guess, like for, because it's kind of common. Um, beautiful picture of New York, very purple sky, very colorful lake uh, that you can see that the river is reflection of the buildings. Really nice. You'll see that also coming back. So, yeah. It's coming back right now. It's called New York Brooklyn, Brooklyn Bridge. And this one is by John Hicks uh, from Corbis from 2011. And you can see again, same kind of style, but you see the bridge much more apparent here. And the buildings are beautiful. And overall, lots of panoramas for New York, lots of uh, puzzles of New York. Uh, really nice. This one is a bit different. It's called Sauna Island uh, Caribbean. Um, and this one is by Guillaume Pleason from 2016. Much different color scheme than what we've seen so far. More turquoise, more white. Really beautiful. Uh, very different. That was hard to get. This one, one of my most lovable, uh, it's called Poppies in Tuscany, and this is by Cardin Design from 2012. Really, really, really hard to get. <laughs> Not an easy puzzle with all of those poppies, I can tell you that. But I, I was thought twice, do I wanna actually like take it apart or do I wanna actually put it on my wall? I decided to take it apart, but with heavy heart. But this one is extremely beautiful. And this one, it's called African Journey. And again, the animals. Uh, this one is by Gennady po Pokoritov. We saw him earlier, but this one is from 2013. And that was a big surprise to me because when I did this puzzle, I actually was very surprised to find out that it's not a triptych. It actually was only one panorama puzzle, which I think was a mistake from Ravensburger's side because it just didn't cut it correctly. It was still beautiful. It was still super amazing, very yellow. It's more yellow than the picture shows actually, but I loved doing it. And uh, yeah, I was a little bit sad that it's not a triptych for real. And it's actually just a, just a panorama. Uh, I'm gonna continue with two that I don't have because I have sold them. So one is called Taj Mahal Dreams. I think it's like really one of the nicer ones. It's, it's by Walter Peperel from 2010 and it shows a Taj Mahal and two beautiful elephants that are decorated on the sides. I love that one, but I sold it. Um, and then the next one is called Sparkling New York, which is very surprising because you've seen a few New York puzzles so far. And that was by, by Cardin Design, same one that did the poppies from 2013. And you can see stuff from New York, which is super beautiful. And of course, the Liberty, Lady Liberty, which is actually like amazing. I'll show that one on top of the video here. Um, really, really nice uh, puzzle. I mean, I love that too, and I sold that one too. Um, what I'm gonna show you right now, it's not considered a Tripticon from, it doesn't stay on the box Tripticon, but it is actually like a Tripticon because it's three puzzles that are related to each other. And they're basically like in the world of like the 500 pieces. Uh, so here's what we're going to start with. Orchid Tw Tranquility or Ambient Zen by Utenan. Very, uh, Ute Mans actually, from 2011. It's a different Ute than the one that we had earlier. Um, again, kind of like same orchid rocks, Buddha. Uh, really, really sweet, um, but very different kind of like color scheme than what we've seen before. I just have to check that. It's actually Ute Mans. I did not know that we had another Ute in Ravensburger. Um, then there is this beauty, and that one is called City Art. It's by Editions Brown. And this one is from 2011, and it shows us New York, and then Paris, and then London. And it's kind of like more one color scheme for each one of them. Really nice, really sweet. Kind of going in the same direction. This one is called Travel Around the World. It's by Ken Hurd and it's from 2013. And you can see again, New York, London, and Paris. Kind of repetitive from earlier. Very different colors, very different art style though. 
really, really nice, really beautiful. Um, those are not super easy to get, but if you get them, I think they're great. Um, so now I have this one, which is easier to get, I think. It's called Nature Impressions. It's by Turta Images from 2015. And you can see that you have here leaves and waterfalls and a tree. And those are just adorable. And I think they're easier to get because I succeeded to get a new one. We're in Zen again. It's called Instant Zen by Emily Villain. And this one is from 2013. Again, you see the orchid and you see like flowers and it says Zen here. Uh, so it's a very common thing for Triptychon, I guess. And uh, I might do, do one on Zen, but actually like that covers most of the Zen puzzles, I think, except one. One of my most favorites, if not the favorite one, it's called Impressive Lighthouses. And this one is by Getty Images from 2013. I wish I knew where the lighthouses are. And if you do know where they are, please let me know because I couldn't detect them anywhere. Uh, they are beautiful. Again, I was thinking twice, do I want to take them apart or not? Uh, but this one is one that was really hard for me to get from Germany. And it is just extraordinary. And then there is this one. It's called Impressions of New York. It's from Getty Images 2012. Beautiful puzzle. Not the easiest as you can see because it's all black and white. Uh, but it was fun to do and beautiful. And I think I'm selling that one. And that would be sad, but I don't have space anymore. And then the last one that I'm going to just uh, talk about and show you in an image. It's called Macaroons. It's by Howard Shooter, which is a, a person that does a lot of like food uh, photos. And it's from 2014. And Macaroons is one of the most delightful three times 500 puzzles that actually exist. And I super highly recommend to try to find it if you can and then do it because it was really beautiful, really colorful. It was actually more colorful than anything we've seen so far. Um, so yeah, I can recommend that like as loud and clear as possible. Um, with that, I would say this is all the triptych and puzzles that I think I'm aware of. And not all the three times 500, but I have a bunch of them, but not all of them, unfortunately. And the main thing that I can wish you is have a great rest of your week and go to my Instagram page on Puzzles by Lisa. And hopefully you enjoyed that channel and tell me what you want to see. And I'm going to do more videos like this. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.